It's none other than Mr. And you better address him as Mr. when he comes out here. I always do. Hollywood, Bob Starr. Starting to like this guy again, Rod. He's getting that pizzazz back that he once had when I was with him. Pizzazz? Eating dog food is pizzazz? Right here, right now, tonight. Well, I'm going to kick your ass. He might like it. Well, this man has been feeding people like dogs and being beaten like a dog, and it's going to continue tonight. I'll tell you what, you talk about mismatch. Talk about bankable music. Look like the Mad Dog Moron. It's the Death March from Mad Dog O'Malley. The 450 pounder, the walking eclipse. Headed to the ring, gonna take those prisoners. There's a lot of history and between the two men, Dudley. There's no way that Hollywood Bob stands a chance tonight against the Mad Dog. We're here for more MEWF action. The Dutchman Ron Young alongside Stud Lee. And we're here at St. Patrick's Day Slaughter. And they're blindsided once again. That's the Bob Star I know, Ron. That's the Bob Star I know. Not wasting any time getting on the big fat slob right from the get. Well, he's going to have to take the big man down if he stands a chance. What authority into the corner and a splash. Oh. One big splash, and this is all over. How quickly things change. The sneak attack fails. Mad Dog O'Malley's ready for action, and Bob Starr already holding his chest. I'll tell you something, Ron. Now, from what I understand, Mad Dog O'Malley is a light eater. How's that? As soon as it gets light outside, he starts eating. Give me a break. One thing he may eat for dinner right here is Hollywood Bob brought back in the hard way. Drops the big oh. elbow. What incredible force. I'll tell you what, if Bob Starr hadn't gotten out of the ring, that could have been the match right there. We'd have been scraping him up with a spatula. Come here. Tell him. He needs to go away, watchers. That's right, Bob. You tell me, doesn't he, Weight Watchers? One thing Bob Starr better watch out is that mammoth girth of the Mad Dog. For such a big man, he's so incredibly agile, too. He moves in the ring like it's his mother calling him for dinner. The Mad Dog has come full circle. Now a favorite of the fans. Most want not too long ago, one of the most hated men in the MEWF. Well, if I'm not mistaken, he still is, but I love him. Series of elbows trying to double the big man over. Front face lock into a DDT. And I'll tell you what, Bob Starr's finished off a lot of people with that move. It looks Why like is he not pinning them. It's had some effect, and now Mad Dog's back up, back up to a vertical base. I don't think Bob's aware yet. Oh, he'll be aware now. Pulling him over. He's got his arms on the rope. Oh, no. It's a full moon here at the MEWF. Oh. Bob Starr's going ballistic. I think they're cheering because he got his pants back up. He's got Mad Dog against the ropes. Whips him off. For the other side for leverage, clothesline just staggers the big man. Again, a second clothesline. He's not even moving. A third one. Oh, what a slam! Oh, I think it's, oh, it. it's over. I can't believe Bob Starr kicked out of that. I got to tell you, Ron, I'm shocked. I can't believe he kicked out of that one. Sidewalk slam by Mad Dog. That'll take the wind right out of you. I'll tell you what, this Mad Dog really is a breathable piece of garbage. 
You know, I'm surprised during your heyday as a manager here in the MEWF, you didn't try to corral this man and take him to the top. I can't afford to feed this man. Oh, sure, after you get your 95% cut, there's not much left in Burger King and McDonald's. Maybe when they're running specials. He shoots Mad Dog off. No, it's reversed. Sends him over with a backdrop. Mad Dog, as tall as he is wide, sends Bob Starr across the rope. Big clothesline. You know, that's like a meat hook hitting him right across the chest. It's like the meat hook they weigh him on. Now, I think he's toying with Bob here. Why don't he just pin the man? Why has he got to put punishment on him? After all that's happened between these two, it wouldn't surprise me if he just punishes, punishes, and punishes Bob Starr some more. Oh, oh, forget it. The big splash. He got his foot on the rope, Ron. And the ref's seen it. This match is far from over. I can't believe it. Where what does is, Bob what is left for Mad Dog to finish him with? He's hit him with everything. He he's can't hit him. hit him. He's dropped the elbow. Wait a minute. What's Bob Starr got in his hand? That's, that's Mad Dog's chain. He's wrapped it around the turnbuckle. Oh, he oh, sent I him face it. first into I it. I love it. The referee's out of position. Bob Starr's got a leg. Two and three. Oh, I love I can't it. Yes, it. Bob. Bob is beating the slob. Bob is beating the slob. Bob is beating the big, fat, greasy slob. This is great. This has got to be the upset of 1996, folks. Bob Starr comes away with a victory. The biggest victory in his career to date. This has got to catapult him high up in the rankings, defeating the former MEWF champion. But the fact remains, he used Mad Dog's no chain to do it. And maybe next time. Did the ref see it run? Chance. No, the ref was unavailable. Is Bob taking the bigger end of the purse, though? He sure is. That's all